Hi guys. I am here with your Bible reading for January 11, 2015. We are going to begin with Matthew chapter 8, verse 18 through verse 34 today. Now when Jesus saw the crowd, he ordered his disciples to go over to the other side of the lake. A legal expert came and said to him, Teacher, I'll follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have dens, and the birds in the sky have nests, but the human one has no place to lay his head. Another man, one of his disciples, said to him, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their own dead. When Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. A huge storm arose on the lake, so that waves were slushing over the boat. But Jesus was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, rescue us. We're going to drown. He said to them, Why are you afraid, you people of weak faith? Then he got up and gave orders to the winds and the lake, and there was a great calm. The people were amazed and said, What kind of person is this? Even the winds and the lake obey him. When Jesus arrived on the other side of the lake in the country of the Gardenians, two men who were demon-possessed came from among the tombs to meet him. They were so violent that nobody could travel on that road. They cried out, What are you going to do to us, son of God? Have you come to torture us before the time of judgment? Far off in the distance, a large herd of pigs was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you throw us out, send us into the herd of pigs. Then he said to the demons, Go away. And they came out and went into the pigs. The whole herd rushed down the cliff into the lake and drowned. Those who tended the pigs ran into the city and told everything that had happened to the demon-possessed men. Then the whole city came out and met Jesus. When they saw him, they pleaded with him to leave their region. And that was Matthew chapter 8, verses 18 through 34. Now we're going to read our psalm for today, which is Psalm chapter 10, verses 1 through 5. Why do you stand so far away, Lord, hiding yourself in troubling times? Meanwhile, the wicked are proudly in hot pursuit of those who suffer. Let them get caught in the very same schemes they've thought up. The wicked brag about their body's cravings. The greedy reject the Lord's cursing. At the peak of their wrath, the wicked don't seek God. There's no God, that's what they are always thinking. Their ways are always twisted. Your rules are too lofty for them. They snort at all their foes. And that was Psalm 10, verses 1 through 5. And lastly for today, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. Don't consider yourself wise. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then your body will be healthy and your bones strengthened. And that was Proverbs chapter 3, verses 7 and verse 8. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a great end to your weekend or start to your week, whichever you consider it to be. If you watch Resurrection, I believe it starts again tonight. We'll be watching it. It comes on at 8 o'clock. And 
we're just like really into that show. Me and um, me and Sherm and um, Mom and my aunt Dora, we're all we're all into, and my friend Kelly, we're all into watching Resurrection and Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time comes on before Resurrection, but I'm not sure if it's starting back tonight or not. But I know I'm pretty sure that um, my aunt told me that it was this Sunday today that it was starting back. I'm going to go check to be sure here in just a few minutes. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Bible reading. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.